when the city council, the local government of Edinburgh, decreed that Porteous, um, sorry, vote man, just watch your back, the uh, car coming. Sorry, it's normally happening, but uh, um, good class of you. It only, it all, tensions only calm um, when the city council meets and agrees to try arrest Porteous himself and try him for murder. And he was tried and he was sentenced to be hanged. He was found guilty. And that seemed to calm things down. But then rumours started to circulate around the city that he was going to be let off. That they were going to commute his sentence and he'd merely have to be transported to somewhere, I don't know, like the American colonies at that time, for instance, <laughs> uh, which was a pretty common punishment. Um, so, but the people of Edinburgh thought this was a soft option, believe it or not. Uh, they wanted to see him hanged. They wanted justice. So 4,000 of the people of Edinburgh got together, formed a big mob, and they charged up the Royal Mile of Edinburgh, and they broke into the old token, and they looked for Porteous inside, went from cell to cell looking for him, and eventually they found him, and they dragged him out into the daylight, where he was hanged in the streets of Edinburgh, and he was even tortured for a while before he was finally actually hanged in the streets in the Royal Mile. And so... <laughs> ah dear, that's bad timing. But there is a tradition here, folks.